Arts Club alive on three stages. The Grant Burnett Student Series Writing Competition Award Ceremony, July 15th, 2021. This program was initiated and is supported by former Arts Club board member, Justice Grant Burnett. The text is in black on a pink background. In the upper left hand corner, there are two pencils in blue and pink. In the bottom right hand corner, there are also two pencils in blue and pink. We are better as a society when our assumptions are questioned and our minds are expanded by theater. Grant Burnett, program founder and supporter. The text is black on a blue watercolor background. There is a fancy gray border and below the text is an image of two hands measuring something on a table with a pen in the right hand. Theater is messy and that is what makes it so relatable. Stella Jack Rennie, participant. There is nothing to lose from watching theater, but there is everything to lose from not having theater. Joanna Toth, participant. The text is in black over a messy white and pink background. In the top right corner, there is an illustration of a hand about to paint. In the bottom right corner, there is an illustration of a writing quill and a bottle of ink. In its rawest form, art allows us to voice our opinions. Daphne Jung, first place winner. While a dramatic production conveys its story on stage, it can take an audience to any corner of the universe, to any nook in one's mind, and also bring something fresh to the world. Russell B, second place winner. The text is in black over a pink, blue, and yellow watercolor background. In the upper right-hand corner, there is an illustration of a paintbrush. In the middle of the left side, there is an illustration of a typewriter. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Corcoran and I am the Artistic Director of the Arts Club Theatre Company and I wanted to welcome you all to our fourth annual Grant Burnett Student Series Writing Competition Award Ceremony. This is our fourth annual ceremony, it's our second annual time doing it over Zoom and I'm so excited that there are people out there in the ether watching and celebrating uh, these young artists with us today. Um, I wanted to start by acknowledging that this event takes place on the ancestral, traditional, and unceded territories of the Coast Salish people, in particular, the Musqueam, Squamish, and Salish Truth First Nations, um, who steward these lands for millennia, uh, and whose relationships with these lands continue to this day. And we are honored to live, work, and play on this land together. So this is a pretty special program, which is funded by the former Arts Club board member, Justice Grant Burniat, to support the city of Vancouver's 18 public high schools and their access to art. Through this program, we offer 30 complimentary tickets per school to be able to create access to theater for, uh, for these local schools. This past year, in this ch changing year of COVID, we were able to offer student tickets to our fall series of one person shows, as well as access to our audio plays that we've been doing this season and also online workshops. In non COVID years, this program also provides complimentary transportation, theater workshops and behind the scenes tours of our stages and facilities um, to the visiting schools. We really hope that by providing access to theater to our local youth, students will receive meaningful opportunities to participate in the arts on a more frequent basis and strengthen the relationship between the arts club and also local Vancouver secondary schools. Part of this program is to invite students to participate in an annual writing competition that provides a platform for students to reflect on their experience at attending our shows. Students were asked to answer the following questions in an essay format. Why is it important that students have access to live theater? What contribution does live theater make to our society? What was it about the production that you saw that meant the most to you? We're really excited to present our awards to two students this afternoon who best demonstrated thought and insight regarding the impact of live theater on youth today. So the first student I'd like to invite to read today is our recipient of the $250 prize. Please welcome Russell B to the digital stage. Come on in, Russell. Here we go. Russell is a student from Eric Camber Secondary. How are you, Russell? Good, thank you. Good, are you excited? Yes. 
Good. Okay. Well, I am also excited to hear your essay. So I'm going to turn off my camera right now uh, and give you the stage. Thank you. Reflection through the stage. A live performance is unlike any other experience of storytelling, where the audience is present to be immersed in the lights, sound, and production design. We're drawn into the story's universe and are allowed to suspend our disbelief for hours, allowing everything to feel real. When I was about four years old, I was taken to see the Arts Club's production of Beauty and the Beast, and I was so terrified at the Beast's intense transformation in the first scene that I watched most of the rest of the show from the lobby on the screens with my mom. It was just too real for me, and I wasn't the only kid in the lobby who thought so. That extra layer of realism when you're in the moment connects you to the lives of these characters. And in person, you can see how a performance sharply holds a mirror up to our culture and society. A work of live theater contributes to society by interpreting and reflecting society's realities back onto the audience. Every production says something about our world. If not an outward message of what we need to consider or take charge in, then a statement on what the company put their time and passion into. It is all up on the stage, cascading into the rows of seats before it. The process of creating these shows requires creatives to tap into their minds and respond to their surroundings, reworking the world around us to fit into a theater. In the musical Hades Town by Anais Mitchell, the act one finale, Why We Build the Wall goes, the enemy is poverty and the wall keeps out the enemy and we build the wall to keep us free. These lyrics are so poignant because they parallel the famous Build the Wall chant from a certain political campaign in 2016. But despite Hades Town opening on Broadway in 2019, this song was written in 2006. Theater will often fit the times we live in because it is a reflection of our world and has always been able to move forward with us. Forms of live theater and performance have been around for forever. Before we even built amphitheaters in ancient Greece, Indigenous cultures use performance as a method of storytelling. It is important for youth today to feel the same magic that's been captured for centuries. As our world evolves, so does our art. When we see new productions of older shows, students not only get a glimpse of the past, but also inspiration from the reinvention of it. Like revivals of Broadway classics, we try to look at our world for things that need the most reinvention and keep the good stuff while replacing the rest. This doesn't mean burning down the past, but keeping it recorded in history for us to learn from. That way we learn from the generations before and can, do, and can direct their legacies to accompany, us, to accompany us in our progress. When we reflect on our past and compare it to our present, audiences can see how much has really changed and how we can do better, especially in the diversity of voices telling these stories on stage. We on this planet have so much richness in our culture, so it is vital for students to see what is being represented so we can try to grow up to take charge and fill in those gaps. Gaps through all the avenues theater provides us, including writing, singing, acting, dancing, production, and design. Theater can stitch our fantasies so tightly to reality, but to do so, a production takes copious amounts of passion and energy from all edges of a company. Being a theater kid in high school can be incredibly formative and the opportunity to work on any aspect of a show calls for teamwork and improving yourself over the whole process. You find personal breakthroughs and qualities to yourself that you never knew you had. The outlet for expression through creation that can be shared with fellow peers in high school makes accessibility to the arts in school so special, but the courage for students to seek out these options has no fuel without exposure to live theater. In grade seven, I went on a field trip to see a matinee of Eric Hammer Secondary's production of The Wiz. Not only did I have a great time, but I was also blown away by the fact that on stage and behind the scenes, it was kids only a few years older than me that were able to do this, working together and having fun through theater. The reality in this moment, as I was sharing a space with these performers, helped me realize that this was possible for me too and the desire propelled me the next year in grade eight to audition and sign up to crew for any show I could at that school until it happened. It means a lot to me to have been inspired to pursue these opportunities at my school 
and find a community where I feel welcome. And I'm excited for more generation students to make their own steps as they are inspired by any exposure to the theater landscape that is yet to come. I hope they too get a chance to enrich their education with a chance to play and be funny, serious, dramatic as, as a part of a team. I hope they get to immerse their own audiences in the lights, sounds, and design of their performances and make it work within any parameters of financial cost because the courage it takes to work hard and devote time to put yourself out there is immensely valuable. When theater digs into the depths of humanity, aspects of us resurface that an audience member may have forgotten. It could be a piece of history or feeling that one felt so many long years ago. Some parts of our society are kept forever as they th flow through time and land on stages around the world. We relearn or experience the love the heartbreak, the grief, the joy, and the tension that those before us have when we feel it in front of us, real and raw. While a dramatic production conveys its story on stage, it can take an audience to any corner of the universe, to any nook in one's mind, and also bring something fresh to the world. New analysis of society or reinventions in limitless ways expand the worldview of an audience. For students, we get to learn about things that we never think to look for without theater. Plays give reflections into each other's unique lives and hold that mirror up for us to see for ourselves, worlds afar or communities in our neighborhoods. We discover an interpretation of other time periods or struggles from other perspectives or even see heartbreak before we experience the first of our own. This wealth of shareable knowledge is so interesting because there really is no limit. While big producers select certain stories to attract audiences, any idea can make its way onto its own small stage, and the smaller scale would only make it more intimate and direct. Removing a barrier like a screen or page puts, puts these stories in an exciting way before a crowd, and the actors, crew, and audience all let these pieces of humankind be embodied in personal ways, to be soaked inwards for a couple hours in one dark room. What we do with that experience is a personal decision, influenced by the impact of a production on oneself. The magic of theater has to do with the way nothing can be done the exact same. Each breath can only be taken once in a lifetime, but it's the beauty of how they are used each time to tell the same thing every night with certainty, grounded to a stage. Theater can move us in little ways like listening to a new song the next day, or as much as taking that inspiration and using all of our heart and mind to create something of our own, a legacy to be passed down to generations beyond. Monumental changes can be made when we reflect on ourselves. So for masses to see a striking glimpse at entire communities, our culture and outlooks can shift just like they have before. Theater is a looking glass for anyone to look through, to see past ideas recorded and replayed live in order to shape one's future. Thank you. Thank you, Russell. Oh my gosh, I'm so inspired by your words. The line, theater can stitch our fantasies so tightly to reality, just gives me shivers. Um, and, you know, I love theater, but this has been a long, difficult year with COVID. And so hearing your beautiful words re inspires me, it makes me really happy. So uh, we're going to be sending you a check for $250 in the mail. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and now you can turn off your, your camera and continue to watch and listen, and I'll be inviting you back at the end. Thanks, Russell. That was so great. So now I'd like to welcome the recipient of our $750 award, Daphne Jung. Come on stage, Daphne. Come on our digital stage. And she is going to read her essay. Hi, Daphne. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well today. Are Good. You? And Daphne comes from Killarney Secondary. So Daphne, I'm gonna turn off my camera right now and listen to your words. Theater in our hearts. Theater is at the heart of many people's lives. Especially for students, theater allows for self-exploration as well as building life skills. So many students each year suffer from burnout caused by the gruesome grind of intense academic courses. 
having access to theater as entertainment and as courses to partake in alleviates the stress and improves their overall well being. During high school, students are at the time where they must begin to consider their career path. Without the exposure to theater, we would be robbing these students of opportunities to explore as many fields as possible. Some students do not learn well in a sit down and study environment as many academic classes are set up. They require the physical movement or the social engagement of theater to enhance their communication, organization, and confidence. Not all traditional skills like debating must be learned through academics like the humanities. Critical discussions build critical thinking and argumentation during theater criticism. Cooperation and teamwork are strengthened through drama and theater production. It is clear that theater is such a valuable experience to a student's career, but it does not end in high school. Whether people like to acknowledge it or not, society relies on entertainment. Just within the past year, we could see how morale could be raised in the darkest of times. I watched the East Van Panto by the cult when lockdown and full restrictions were in place. Despite the horrendous events seen in the news, it was the lighthearted entertainment which made life bearable. The family-friendly pantomime included characters from various fictional worlds and sing-along songs using current day pop tunes. The stories and lyrics were written to reflect the current state of the world, but it was done so in a way which brought hope to the audience. Simple lessons like washing hands or tropes like, we'll get through this, give light back to those who are lost in the dark. Theater isn't always about butterflies and sunshine. Art is a form of expression, and often it is inspired by those who are trapped in the dark. In Green Thumb's production, Still Falling, the journey in dealing with mental health struggles is beautifully depicted. The play follows the life of a young girl whose schoolwork and relationships are sabotaged as a result of mental illness. Often, sensitive subjects are difficult to discuss because of all the stigma built up around them. However, productions similar to Still Falling open a gateway for conversations and aid in reducing the stigma around such important topics. It is work like these which help to reassess our values as a society. Growing up, I felt constricted by the stigma in society, whether it was because I was a little girl or because I am visibly Asian, there were many expectations set out for me. In the past, the picture-perfect life for me was to be a doctor with a prideful family and a successful husband. This ideal caused much inner conflict and turmoil, which in turn wasted years of youth to confusion and suppression. I always knew that I was not alone in the struggle, but I only ever saw people who looked like me perfectly abide to these stereotypes. That is why when my class and I spoke with Tetsuro Shigematsu after watching his performance, One Hour Photo, I felt hopeful. Shigematsu spoke of his own struggles as a child, growing up Asian with rigid stereotypes and the narrative he was edged to follow. He questioned why the only Asian person in the Hollywood scene reinforced destructive stereotypes and took it upon himself to pursue his passion in acting. Hearing his journey, combined with emerging mainstream act Asian actors, gives me hope that race will soon be eradicated as a discriminatory factor in not only theater, but in every aspect of our society. In a world where everything is forced to fit a certain ideal, it was so relieving to see public representation of someone going against the narrative that I had struggled with for so long. In its rawest form, art allows us to voice our opinions. This is what allows minorities to be seen and for their struggles to be heard. It has the power to reconstruct society and give hope back to those who were lost in the dark. As a student who will turn to her next chapter in life, I will be forever grateful for these experiences and keep theater at the core of my heart. Thank you.
Here I come back. Sorry, I was having technology issues. Thank you so much, Daphne. I'm going to say that I like for the, again was so inspired by your essay, and I think that this idea that art has the power to reconstruct society and give hope back to those who are lost in the dark is such um, a beautiful sentiment, and I think a really true sentiment. So thank you so much. Um, I also loved the East Van um, Panto watching it from home this Christmas and had a great time too. Um, and also saw, I saw the Green Thumb show as well. So your, your essay meant a lot to me. So thank you so much for sharing it. Um, we at the Arts Club are gonna be sending you a check for $750. So we're very excited about that as well. Um, so Russell, come back and join us. Here he is. Look at these two talented individuals. You guys, thank you so much for participating in our essay contest. We're so excited and so proud to know both of you uh, and so excited for what you do next in your future. And so you have to keep us in the loop. Um, I also wanted to take a moment to thank our incredible staff, Hila Graf and Kevin Ellis from our education department. We're so lucky to get to work with you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to Darren Hales, who is our tech for this afternoon. Thank you, Darren for all the work you're doing and keeping this so seamless. Um, and we wanna thank everyone for coming. Um, we're excited to see how this program uh, continues into the future. And we know that it provides great access for youth to experience uh, theater and productions. And then we in turn are inspired by them. So thank you so much. Thanks Daphne, thanks Russell. Thank you everyone for watching. Talk to you all soon.